No clue where this show can go, man. Especially not in color. What more can you do that's in color? Stop it! Stop it! Aw, oh, I guess I was expecting a bigger destruction there. <laughs> it's like I thought that was an actual pillar and it was heavy as shit. Looking damn good. Oh no. He's just now getting the papers for it? What are you waiting for? Send her in. Ooh! Damn it, you fucking intro! God damn it. Hey! I was not expecting it to be her, hell yeah! Thought it was just gonna be the one dude's mommy. Hell yeah, who is this dude? The, the gold ones are just regular yellow. Well, the minute I saw them, I said FSU. Yeah, I mean, the colors clearly are screaming FSU, obviously. Go Seminoles. That was fun. Yeah, that was fun. That's a cool shot. He's not in the shot at all. In the mirror, at least, he's not in it. Well, he is now, but... Yep. Are they both running on a treadmill? Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. You think they ever ran with the bulls on this show? Like in Spain? Maybe it's too dangerous. What do you think? Maybe. What a boring conversation. Maybe. Riveting. He's so wearing sandals in the house. Dude, you're in the house. Take the sandals off, you idiot. Do you remember what kind of ice cream Tammy likes? What do you think? Vanilla or strawberry? Ooh. For the sake of the black and white episode, I'd say vanilla. Man, none of these people have any idea that she got a man killed and then gaslit his grieving wife. Like, don't you think if you ran a store and some teenager came in your store and tried to buy a pacifier, don't you think you'd call the police? Yeah. I sure would. Absolutely. <laughs> what? <laughs> I made it with Miracle Whip instead of mayonnaise. Hmm. I use almond butter instead of peanut. Oh, what a boring. Oh, it's so boring. Oh, no. Poor Kim, man. I can't imagine she's loving where her life went. Kim, there's a Victor St. Clair for you on line Oh! Oh, shit. Kim? Are we gonna see the phone call? Just say something. You want me to say something? Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. You should turn yourself in. And, and, and why don't you turn yourself in? Seeing as how you're the one with the guilty conscience, huh? Ooh. They can only hang me once, so, so go ahead. Spill your guts. Put on your hair shirt. See what it gets you. Why? Oh, my God. Kim, why are we... Kim. Oh, this long shot of her just kind of breaking Kim. down. Oh, the Kyorki, she's back. What is she gonna do though? What is she gonna turn herself in? Maybe admit some wrongdoings to Howard's wife? I don't know, man. Where's Mike? God damn it. They've automated poor Mike's job. Oh look, even the because ponytail the judge looks exactly like Kim. Say yes, sir. Say yes. Damn, even down to the fucking dialogue that I'm barely hearing is exactly like when she was, I remember she was putting the tie around that one kid and it was like, it's yes sir and it's no sir. Damn, that's nuts. Oh, that's Howard's wife, oh no. Oh, she's really gonna do this, huh? Damn, having to read that, he faked it. Oh my God, oh imagine reading that shit, man. Howard was murdered, why? He was. In the wrong place. In the wrong place at the wrong time. Yep. And the police, will they search again? I don't think they'll find him. I mean, yeah, they already fucking found the location. They just didn't find him apparently after Fring's lab burnt down. Heavy shit, man. Heavy shit. But thank God they're taking the first steps towards uh, clearing up Howie. <laughs> Sorry, I just liked. I liked the shot of Ray Seahorn slowly reaching this point. Public transportation people, am I right? 
She's so damn impressive, man. <laughs> so damn impressive. That was such a long shot of her just escalating. And now here we are, him breaking and entering on this poor cancer patient. Did he just collapse on the floor? God, your ass is so busted, bro. Go ahead. Haven't you done enough to the poor guy? What's the hesitation about? You realize you had to kick him while he's down a little bit more? He's not bruised enough, huh? No, he's gonna be greedy. Oy! He's up, he's up. Really? Really? You're just gonna, you're... Oh, this asshole. Oh, this asshole. He's gonna smoke a cigar and drink some alcohol. Really, huh? It's like a friend, a girlfriend. Gene said he normally vets them to make sure that they're completely alone, but maybe the cancer blinded him to a fact or two. Oh, poor Rusty. Died in 2004, just like Jimmy McGill. Dumbass, dumbass. This is like that scene where uh, Saul has the one guy, Ira, I think his name was, in the one fucker's vacuum cleaner guy's printer. Pay something, uh, that office, you know? Steal the little drummer boy fucking statue. No! He's gonna throw that shit as some the fucking some distraction or some shit. Don't don't fuck with that. Oh, it's a cop! Yo, it's just a cop just sitting there. Why? Oh, he's gonna hit him with it, dude. There. I thought he was gonna throw it off the fucking balcony into the living room so that he'd have to go and investigate and he'd be able to sneak out. He's taking the more violent approach. He's like, oh, I have the ashes anyway. Oh, I fucking hate Saul here, man. I hate everything about this. I mean, I feel like there's a way that uh, Jeff could play this. If a cop comes knocking on his window saying, hey, what are you doing here? He'd be like, I don't know. I'm a taxi driver. I was called to this location. Would you call that a fish taco? <laughs> because <laughs> anybody. They just got real unlucky. They stopped for some fucking midnight snackery. You didn't even stop. <laughs> what the fuck was that, dude? <laughs> what a fucking dumbass. Holy shit, he had so many ways to play that. And he chose the exact wrong one. The worst possible way. <laughs> just simply driving off would have just done the trick. Jimmy acting like he doesn't give a shit, as if this is just another piece of paper on his desk. I want Walter White or Jesse Pinkman to walk in and be like, hello, how are you? I think you're gonna regret not taking your share of the sandpiper money. And then buy a shitload of swampland. That sandpiper money's tainted. Have a nice life, Kim. I feel so bad for her, man. This cold treatment that she's getting. Hey, sweet cheeks, who do we got next? Let's make some money. My God, I hate it. I'm hating Saul so much in this episode. Oh, oh shit. Damn, I'm fucking hyped. Hey, yo. That's one more of those. Woo. Oh, and should I give me chills, man? Oh, that fucking cameraman. Oh. I recognize you. You defeated my buddy Cabo. Oh, did she? Christian Ortega. You got him off like Scott Free. That, that was pretty slick, yo. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, I love this. This guy. Any good? Aaron Paul looks more like Jesse in this episode than he did last one. When I knew him, he was. Oh, what an exciting scene, man. Jesse and Kim. The way he's even crossing his feet like Saul Goodman. And then the old Jimmy McGill. Ooh, good combo. I, uh, 
Dad, I got arrested. Oh, no. What for, Jeffy? <laughs> it's like this crazy mis- Breathe deep and sit tight. I'll have you out by lunchtime. You're coming down here yourself? <sighs> no, I think it'll be your mom. What? You'll talk to her for me? You're gonna have sure her will. do it? You're gonna get the best legal defense in the whole wide world. Trust your old man on that. What does that mean? Bill? Call up Bill? Oh, oh God, that boy. He's gonna put me in my grave. <laughs> Marion, no. Right, you just walk into the station, you pay a straight cash bail. It's not like Albuquerque at all. How do you know about Albuquerque? What about Buddy? Is he in any trouble? I don't think so. Why would he be? She gets I'll real suspicious, huh? <laughs> oh, she's invested she's watching all of breaking bad she's not quite to season two yet though so she doesn't know about saul hi oh hey everything okay? oh i could hear on the fucking headphones saul's voice oh shit oh shit Oh, the color! Oh, that's fucking cool! That was fucking awesome. I typed in con man in Albuquerque, and up you popped. <laughs> Big as day. Slippin' Jimmy. What are you doing, Marion? What do you think I'm doing? I'm calling the police. Oh, Marion. Now, listen, I'm still the good friend you thought I was. Oh my god, he's Jeff so scary. Me. What have you got there? <laughs> Put that down. <laughs> god, dude. There's a criminal standing in my kitchen threatening me. He's a wanted man, and his name is Saul Goodman. <laughs> wow, man, that's gotta be the end, right? Yeah, that's the end. Damn, dude. Oh, what a fucking episode, man. What a great episode. Jesus Christ, what a good setup for the last one, man. They covered quite a bit of Kim. She confessed to Howard's wife. No idea what's in her future, if she's gonna be prosecuted or not. I don't know if we'll see that, perhaps, but we saw her get the divorce done with Jimmy. Jimmy being real cold about it, acting cold. Obviously, he was affected by it, but he was putting on a front. She met Jesse Pinkman, which was a great scene. And then the whole shit with the robbery and Jeff. And then that, oh my God, that last scene with Marion was fucking insane, man. That was terrifying. That was the most, this whole episode was the most terrifying we've ever seen Saul Goodman, man. It was so great. And I cannot wait to see how it all ends up in the final episode of the entire series man next week it is all over perhaps the end of the entire breaking bad universe as we know it they haven't announced any spinoffs but for now it looks like next week is the last we've got of the breaking bad universe at least for a little while holy shit next week 